as grandma used to say, men are like fine wine. They get better with age. Except lately, the vintage seems a little off. The world's gone soft. You see it everywhere. Guys clinging to childish habits, afraid to take charge. It's a weakness infecting society. And frankly, it's holding you back. Today, you're going to learn about the traits that are holding you back. The childish habits you need to ditch if you want to step into those big shoes. Remember those old legends like Rambo and Gary Cooper? That's the era we're gunning for. Weakness might be the trend, but not for us. By the end of this episode, you'll be forged into the man you crave to be. The man who attracts the respect and desire he deserves. There are still women out there, quality women, who crave a leader, a strong, decisive man. Men who gets things done. They're looking for the kind of man who's done playing games, done living in a la-la land. Wanna be that man? Then you need to stand out. Let's get to it. Kicking off our list at number five, the trap of pleasure. So, what really matters in life? If you swallowed the happy pill society's pushing, you'd say happiness. But think about it. How many guys do you see numbing themselves with endless parties, stacking up notches, gluing themselves to adult films and other forms of adult entertainment? They think they're chasing happiness, but are they? No, each brief thrill each empty conquest just leaves them hungrier, dirtier, more desperate. Let's cut to the chase. That kind of happiness is a mirage. It fades, leaving you worse off, scrambling for the next hit. Brothers, it's time to wake up to reality. Make no mistake, real happiness doesn't mean you've got to go chasing. No, you've got to keep building, achieving, and pushing past comfort. Ever heard that, Jim? If you want to be truly happy, chase discomfort. Get to the gym. Grind on your goals. These might feel like a drag now, but they're your first steps to real satisfaction. Unlike those cheap thrills that dull your senses, real work sharpens them, brings you back to what matters. Remember this, instant gratification is a drug. The more you get, the less it means. It robs you of your drive, replacing your natural strength with a thirst you can't quench. Don't be that guy who ends up a slave to his weaker self. Moving on to number four, lack of emotional discipline. You've seen it, right? That commercial with the kid losing it over candy looks familiar because that's how a lot of guys act these days. Grown men throwing fits like toddlers. Now, we're not saying bottle up your feelings to look tough. You've got to master your emotions. Think of your emotions like a river. When it's flowing right, it's inviting. Everyone wants a dip. But let it flood, and it wreaks havoc, damaging everything in its path, including your reputation people start losing respect, and you, you feel miserable. We've all been there. It's a dark place. No control over your emotions is like watching your own life flood out of control. What's the fix? Start by directing your energy away from the nonsense. Just like the river, it doesn't water every field. It follows its course. Stop scattering your energy trying to please everyone or grab every opportunity. That's how you drain yourself. Stay true to your path, and you'll find strength and restraint. And next, at number three, self-importance. Make no mistake, this trait is child's play at its finest. So many guys out there are caught in a twist of dissatisfaction and depression, all because they've been brought up to be pretenders. Think about it. Some dudes want a great girl, a great life, but do squat to earn it. They lounge around, waiting for life's rewards to drop from the sky. It's a childish delusion, 
the kind that has you waiting forever. Here's a cold hard truth. The world owes you nothing. It's time to get off your backside and start doing the work. Be genuine, be real, ditch the act because only the genuine effort pays off in the end. If you want respect, love, success, earn it. Don't just seem be. This means getting your hands dirty, doing the tough stuff, and making the sacrifices that count. That's how you build a life worth living, not by pretending, but by being ruthlessly, unapologetically you. Continuing with, number two, the habit of complaining. Complaining is an absolute no-go, a clear sign of immaturity and weakness. Think about it. Imagine a king, a born leader, powerful and respected. Do you ever picture him whining about his circumstances? Never. So why do you, a man with equal potential, waste your breath on complaints? It might sound tough, but complaining is a poison to your progress and your mindset. Your royalty in the making, my friend. It's time to act like it. Stop complaining. Fix it. Repeat that. Make it your daily mantra. Here's a scenario. You're off to work, grabbing coffee, and someone spills theirs on you. What's your move? Blow up, make a scene, or handle it calmly. Take control of the situation. Remember, every challenge is manageable. It's all about perspective, finding ways to exert control rather than whining about it. Complaining, that's not what men do. It's a weak defeatist attitude often seen in the worst stereotypes of behavior. It's very, very pathetic. Step up, take responsibility. If you miss a goal, don't blame the world. Reshape your strategy. This now takes us to the top trait to avoid. Neediness. This is a massive pitfall for nearly every man today. But understand this. Neediness extends beyond slobbering over someone. It shows up in your dependencies. Whether it's booze to boost your courage or adult content for a brief escape. Notice the excuses. I can't talk to her unless I'm drunk. Or I need a drink to forget her. That's textbook neediness. It's not just about women. It's about any crutch you lean on. Relying on your parents for basic things? That's kid stuff. As a man, your growth is defined by how you tackle problems head on. The minute you look for someone or something to solve your issues, you're stuck. Sure, your body ages, but your mind stays trapped in youth. The only antidote to neediness is self-reliance. Face life head on, like the warrior you are. Make no mistake, each struggle is part of the progressive path to greatness. Appreciate your struggles, grow from them, and never, ever rely solely on others. All right, gentlemen, you've heard the hard truths today. Remember, the life you're living, the struggles you're facing, they're a direct result of your own actions. If that stings, it's time to take a hard look at your choices. Society might try to coddle you, feed you spoonfuls of immaturity, but it's on you to reject that. Stand firm. Maturity doesn't mean you have to suck the joy out of life. You've got to know what builds you up and what tears you down. And this journey doesn't mean you have to avoid weakness. You must forge strength, carve out a path that only you can tread. So keep pushing, keep striving. Every step you take away from these childish traits is a step toward the man you were meant to be. Don't just exist, thrive. Be the founder of your own destiny because nobody else will do it for you. And hey, if you found today's episode valuable, don't just sit there, act on it. Smash that subscribe button, hit like to support the channel, and don't forget to check out our other videos to keep leveling up your game. Until next time.